I'm sure that most of you already used Social Blade as a free Instagram analytics tool, but it has two big problems and that's probably the reason why you are looking for alternative. The biggest problem with Social Blade is that it only shows stats from business accounts. So if you are running a personal account or want to check someone else's stats, Social Blade is completely useless. And the second problem is that you don't really get much data from it and their graphs are pretty basic and kinda hard to read and analyze. So today I'm going to show you two of my favorite Instagram analytics tools that are completely free as well. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Hello everyone and welcome to Equals Cash. For those of you who are new here, my name is Adam and I've been making money online for 10 years now. If you want to learn more about Instagram, digital marketing or making money online in general, make sure to subscribe and check my other videos. Before we start, I would like to ask you for a favor and don't worry, it's pretty simple. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and keeps me motivated. So without further ado, let me hop onto my PC so I can show you these Instagram analytics tools and how to use them. First tool that I wanted to show you is called Ninjalytics. I've already mentioned that I used Ninjalytics in my 0 to 10k series, so let me add that account and show you how it works. First it analyzes the account. The best thing with these analytic tools is that you can enter anyone's username and get stats in case you want to research competition or something like that. Okay, so once you enter username, you will get basic stats, including average engagement rate, which still works even though Instagram removed likes. As you can see, it says that my engagement rate is higher than average, and that's based on these stats. Next, you get the followers growth graph. You can choose the exact time frame here, or you can choose one of the presets. In the next section, you can see if the account uses follow and follow or story viewing, which is pretty useful if you are researching competition. And here you can see daily growth with this graph and also you can choose the exact time frame. You can also download these stats if you want to save them or if you are building a report for a client, which is a great feature for those of you who are running an agency or doing client work. And it's absolutely free. Here you can see monthly and weekly stats in really easy to read format and also see average daily growth in the last week and in the last month. Here you can see the analytics of likes and comments of the most 12 recent posts. As you can see, I haven't been posting on this account for 126 days. I've done that on purpose because I want to show you the effects of not posting consistently. The, this next graph shows the distribution of hashtags. It can help you figure out which hashtags your competitors are using the most. With this next graph you can also see daily stats divided into different categories. You can here go through pages from different dates. And finally you can see the last 12 posts along with likes and comments, which is great since Instagram removed likes. And that's basically it. There is a paid version of Ninjalytics that contain more in-depth stats and you can also build professional reports, which is really a great feature if you are doing a client work. And it's not that expensive. As you can see, prices are pretty cheap just 5.8 euros per month for one profile or 40.5 euros for agency plan which you can use to analyze up to 50 different profiles. 
but again you don't really need this especially if you're not an agency owner the free version of this tool has everything that you need the other tool that i'm using is called ig blade and it offers pretty similar stats to ninjalytics but sometimes ninjalytics is glitching out and that's the reason i'm using ig blade as well You get pretty much the same data with this tool, but graphs are a bit different. I have friends that like IG Blade graphs more, but for me personally, Ninjalytics is much more versatile tool. As you can see, here is the growth graph. You can change time frames here. The next section is stats overview, and after that, you can see day by day analytics demographic section is locked next is the engagement section as you can see you can see average engagement rate my account is rated a plus average likes average comments and also you can see how much similar accounts are getting on average next you can see the engagement graph and posting habits which is a great way to analyze the best time to post Next is the best time to post, but you need pro subscription to use it. You don't really need that at all, since you can basically just read data from here and figure out when is the best time to post. If you're not sure when is the best time to post, I also suggest you to check my video that I've made a few months back. I will leave a link down in the description. That's basically it. As I said, I like Ninjalytics much more, but it's glitching out sometimes, so it's good to have an alternative. Also keep in mind that you can analyze TikTok accounts with Ninjalytics as well, and it's also a free feature. So for those of you who are into TikTok marketing, Ninjalytics is a pretty useful tool. That's it for now, both of these tools are great, but let me know which one do you like more and are planning to use daily. If you like this video and haven't already, make sure to leave a thumbs up. As I said, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it's free, so why not? Again, if you want to learn more about Instagram marketing and making money online in general, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because on this channel I'm revealing everything that I've learned in the past 10 years completely free. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.